Hi guys, today we tie carp fly and we tie it on a carp A1 kamakatsu hook and uh, what we are tying is a, a dry fly for carp um, imitation of a dog biscuit and for that we're using some deer hair and um, they have a brown color close to this one here but because it's uh, a little bit different I want to have it as as close to the color as possible. I've just mixed four colors of deer here, like all these four, if you can see them. So it's a tan color, some red, brown, and a more grayish natural color. And I mixed them up in a really big bowl because I wanted to tie quite a few, but I'll show you here in the video how I tie them. So what you need is the hook I showed you before and then you take a, a thinner thread, but strong, maybe a 100 GSP, I don't know what this is for a thread, I haven't checked it, I was just laying around, but 100, 100 GSP will really work on this fly. Just a little bit of super glue, so the base is protected from sliding around the hook shank and we can spin our deer hair properly. And, um, yeah, what you need for this fly is later on maybe a razor blade. I'm getting these uh, from Astra. Um, really cheap. You can buy them as 100 packs on Amazon, I think, for 8 euros. So um, that really does the trick. And then we actually take a, just clumps of the deer hair out of the bowl and just align the. Um, the hair is as good as possible. It's really not working that good, but because we only need really short hairs, um, it's not really necessary. So I'll just cut the edges. Uh, it looks like that, and then we can actually just tie it in and spin it. So we just go around once, twice, three times loose, and then just let it spin it on the hook shank. Go with a kind of wiggling movement through the material, secure it, one, two, three wraps in front of it, and then going back to the base. Like that. And we just take the next clamps, and we just keep on doing that, just stacking the deer here. Just uh, small amounts like that to get it a bit denser. It actually doesn't really has to look beautiful for the carp. It doesn't have to be super super dense like you would do it with a with a deer hair popper or something similar. You just want to really imitate a, um, a dog biscuit and they are a little bit of uh, purrs as well. So um, it's not really a dense surface on this biscuits. So it's not really necessary to tie it that or to stack it that tight. Especially I would actually say it's uh, better if you let it a little bit loose. So it looks more similar to the dog biscuit. Just do it as quick as possible. It's nothing special, but you can see the mixtures of the uh, of the deer hair colors, and uh, I think it's just better than. The natural brown color, but um, yeah, you can probably just use brown as well. Um, just make sure that you um, use a dark hook. A friend of me gave me that tip. If you are using a light hook, like a golden hook or something like that, it can spook the carp from underneath. So, um, what you want to have is a dark hook. If you have a dark pellet, you want to have a dark hook. And if the if you have a fly or if you bought a fly in your box, 
and uh, it's a golden hook. You can just paint it with a permanent marker black. So we're close to the uh, the hook eye. Just doing uh, one more step, I think, before we come to the cutting. Stone for hair sticker. Wanted to try it out. If it works. Let's see. Yeah, works so good. Let me <laughs> tie in another step, I think. Because now we have too much space in front of the hook eye. So just one more step. Usually I would recommend here to use a, a black thread as well, um, just keep everything dark, but um, we're just not doing that many thread wraps in front of the guys, so hope we'll be fine. And I couldn't find a black one, so it has to work like that. Just put a bit of super glue on it and make a knot in it. Maybe another one on top just cut the thread I want to have a little bit more super glue in there just to secure the knot a little bit more perfect more like that so what do we do now? We need to cut it a bit. So I'll get a little bit loose on the wise to get it straight again. And the first cut that I do, just turn the fly around, get a sharp razor blade, watch out for your fingers, and then just cut it straight on the bottom because you want to have the bend of the hook free so you can set your hook properly. So I'm actually not doing much cutting, just bend it a little bit like that and then just go around it like that. And just get the hairs out. I actually take my scissors because with the dog biscuits I think it's way more precise to cut them with scissors it's just easier especially with the uh, the loose hairs here in the back because they they don't have any tension and it's really hard to cut them with a um, with a um, razor blade so just cut it in the shape as you want it to see if there's anything not correct and you see here the bottom is really flat which uh, gives it a good stability on the water will lie flat on the water that's what the carp sees from below so a dark silhouette dark hook and that's uh, the fly from above and it really looks like a dog biscuit so uh, We'll try these out and you can 
have fun tying them. Thanks for watching.